dish. We are doing microwave magic from a salmon leftover dish that went viral. Ooh. To a tip for Taco Tuesdays. It's so simple. Then, look at this apron they made me. We're dishing with Marie Osmond. I hear that you have a new very edgy hobby. And things get spicy. Hot. Hot. <laughs> this is why you tune in to The Good Dish. <laughs> That's next. Let's dish. The kitchen has always been the center of my world because life is more delicious when it's full of food and fun. <laughs> Everybody knows me as a culinary expert and food judge on television, but also I'm just a mom trying to get dinner on the table. From Hollywood to home, I bring Southern sweet and Caribbean heat, and I'm not afraid to stir the pot. Good food, good friends, good dish. It's a magical day here at The Good Dish because we are doing microwave magic. This kitchen staple is a silent superpower to the chefs, and we're going to share all our hidden gems with you today. So now, if you thought all you could do with this machine is reheat your sad leftovers, you are very happily mistaken. <laughs> I, we are going to blow your minds about all the things microwaves can do today. Yes. Do you guys think that microwaves get an unfair bad rap? Yeah, of course they I do. Think so, yes. They get a terrible rap. They've always had a bad rap for being like the not cook cheat mm -hmm. of the kitchen, yes. right? Oh, just call them out. Just lay it on. Yeah. But yes. I, like, I am here to tell you that microwaves are genius. They are just as important an appliance in your kitchen mm -hmm. as your fridge, as your stove, if used correctly. Mm -hmm. Not good for everything. Correct. No, not 100%. for everything. I'm not saying sear your steak in the microwave. Yes. And Try. you think that chefs don't <laughs> use microwaves? <laughs> like, don't believe the hype. Like, we do enjoy using microwaves sometimes. Reheat and they serve chocolate. purposes. There is science there that makes yes. them so useful in the kitchen, especially no. when you're busy and don't yes. have a lot of time. No more microwave shaming. No more. That's no more right. shaming for the rest of the Well, look, heard it no more shaming. Ever. The, uh, we give you permission to feel good about the places where it's good to use a microwave. And I have to say, the nerd in all three of us really gets kind of psyched about, like, the crazy science that allows you to reheat food so quickly and to do it in some, time, in some cases, actually, like, in a really beneficial way. Yes. We're going to show you a really cool trick coming up that... I, I'm prepared to say, will it forever change Taco Tuesday in your house or Thursday, Saturday, whatever day it is? <laughs> um, in dinner time in our house, <laughs> so I think about this sometimes, is like, yes, I try to make as much fresh as I possibly can, but there are sometimes leftovers staring at me that I know if I don't use them that day, they're going to go bad, and I need to get them on the table fast. Of course. Yes. What's, what's, what is mealtime, especially busy weeknight mealtime, like at your house? Oh, goodness. I mean, it's chaos. Tell me everything. Yes. You know, you. the hardest part, I think, about mealtime in my house is I have two small children, yep. and they eat at a different time than we do, not because we don't want to eat with them. We try so hard, but they're hungry for dinner when we're at still 4 at work. Totally, That's totally. That's right. So that becomes, you know, that you kind of become the short order cook of what are they eating and what are we eating and do I want to eat what they're eating and I can't eat at the same time. Oh so you gosh, end up so much. running around the kitchen. <laughs> yes. But I know that oh. we all feel the same, and yeah. especially in the last several years, it's chaos. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? If you're getting gorgeous steamed veggies on the table and they were done in a microwave Nothing instead of in a that. steamer basket for 15 minutes, yeah. you're good to go. I'm okay with this. Um, microwaves, I do feel like, came into everyone's popular vernacular again because of this video. You guys have definitely seen it or heard about it. It is the salmon rice bowl recipe that everyone is talking oh, about yes. and obsessed with. And yes, it is made in our microwave. It comes to us from Emily Mariko. She is a TikTok influencer whose salmon dish has been viewed almost 10 million times. Yeah, also, the like offshoots of it, the, the thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of people who've tried to recreate yes. it and made their own videos. This is insane. And it is a microwave meal. Take a look. She does make it like very yeah. gratifying. Yeah, <laughs> like I want to eat that. I want to eat that. Of course. I'm going to show you how to make it. We if get you to, want eat to eat it. And we do get to eat it, actually. <laughs> and you know what? Something else I love to complete the thought 
if the choice is I'm not going to eat any steamed veggies or I'm going to do it in the microwave, obviously do it in the microwave. If the choice is I'm going to eat something and find a cool way to use, over le use up leftovers mm -hmm. as opposed to wasting food or not or having to eat them the same way you had them the first time, which I know some people in, some people in my family, if I give them the same thing over and over again, they're like, we had this yesterday. They're temperamental. Or dry them out by warming them up another way, oh. right? That's the beauty of the microwave. Correct. Yes. So uh, she used leftover salmon, which we have here, oven roasted salmon. You can buy it at the store. You can make it the night before and then find this is an easy way to use up your leftovers. Go ahead and place that flaked up into a microwave safe bowl. That is the one thing. There is some microwave etiquette. You got to... Mm -hmm. Make sure never to put plastic in your microwave. That's correct. Um, or aluminum. Or aluminum. That. <laughs> that will be treacherous. Metals of any that. kind that are <laughs> unadvisable. <laughs> um, leftover rice. Another really easy little way to use up what you already have on hand. Go ahead and spread that out over your salmon. And the layering of this actually is kind of important because, like you said, Gail, you don't want to dry out the salmon. You want it to, everything should kind of steam on top of each other so you really maintain as much moisture and flavor as possible. Now, here was the thing I think blew the internet's mind. It was that she put an ice cube nestled ever so gently into the bed of rice and salmon, and then she lay a piece of parchment paper over top. Now, why does this work? The world wanted to know. Using an ice cube like this actually provides and releases the perfect amount of moisture to keep your rice rehydrating without making it wet and soggy. Because the, the old-fashioned trick was to like flick some water all over it, and sometimes you mismanage the levels, and you <laughs> ended up with like soup, you know, mm -hmm. which is not advisable. So this is going to go into your microwave for three minutes, and out comes a gorgeously fluffy, perfectly reheated, and the parchment paper, by the way, locks the steam in, so what you get is this. Look. Can I touch this? I want you to see how like fluffy this grain is. It's just beautiful again. Nothing sticking together, just a lovely tender grain. Mm. And then what she did was to top it with a gorgeous bevy of toppings. We have some Kewpie mayo, some sriracha hot sauce. She added some kimchi. I love the texture of a few um, sesame seeds, green onions. Scoop it up with some nori sheets. Go to town. Get yeah. in there, guys. I mean, I'm for first. I know. Yes. Hot sauce. I know. That was like, you know the me. toppings are really what did Come it for on. me. I, I will fully admit to having seen this video early on and being like, I've never wanted to eat leftover salmon so badly <laughs> yes. in my life. Like, this is phenomenal. And I will say that tweaking the toppings a little, my kids would totally be down for oh, this. My too. kids ate this. They, yeah, I literally I I made it at home and okay. they absolutely ate it. And I, you know, I had to leave the hot sauce off and, and yeah, exactly. the kimchi, but they, um, they were into it. And you tailor it to, your, to yourselves. You customize mm. as needed, which is what's so beautiful about the recipe. Oh, look it at this. It's beautifully reheated. It's not like she created something so completely new. It's, it's things we all already Crazy. have, we use. It's just thinking about them in a slightly different way and using your microwave for good in the world. Uh, to, can, I tell, can I say one little like health upgrade I, I have also tried that wasn't as delicious as but it did work well? Cauliflower rice. Oh yeah, cauliflower okay. rice. Then you get sure. like protein, veg. You can still have your toppings. You can still do it up. It's and delightful. You feel good about yourself after that. Jamika, while I put this into my mouth, <laughs> you have one more <laughs> microwave tip that I promised you is going to revolutionize every time you love your tacos. Yes, continue stuffing your face mm -hmm. because oh, check this out. <laughs> I've got the ultimate trick to end the hard shell versus soft shell taco debate. Like we all have it mm -hmm. at our homes because all you will need is a tortilla a glass and a microwave, all right? And it's so simple. I mean, take a look at this. Who wouldn't want to use this? How does this work? All right, so all you'll do is simply take your tortilla, fold it in the glass, pop it in the microwave for about a minute, and it'll just perfectly crisp up. Ooh, So simple. Wow. And watch how it comes out. Look at it. Perfectly, look at the, it's got the puffiness there. Got a little browning in there too. I mean, it's so simple, all so right? So smart. And it stands up on its own, and you'll just plate the rest of your tacos like you normally would. Like, check this out. Fills up. And you, you can hear it's so crunchy, just like the crunchy shell. You'll save money. You'll save time. And I found by doing the flour tortilla versus the corn, that holds up a lot better. So mm. do the flour tortilla. But aren't these the cutest Adorable. little things? Amazing. And I like that they stay shut. You're not fighting with the whole thing. Microwave to the rescue once again. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. amazing. <laughs> Delicious. So many cute, fun things you can do with mm -hmm. the microwave. Up next. This is so exciting. Singing legend Marie Osmond is dishing on her famous family, her new album, and why she's obsessed with her new Harley. Oh, come on. You're going to ride with Marie. Yes. That's awesome. That's right. <laughs> All right. So now, if you've ever got caught making late night popcorn or pizza, raise your hands. Yes. Try this hack to keep your secret safe. <laughs> We 
We all know that sound. Here's how you can get rid of it. Just press and hold the number two for a couple of seconds. That's it. Voila. No sound. Like something you saw on the show today? We're dishing all the details on the good list. All the recipes, important tips, and tricks, all in one place. So stay tuned until the end of the show when we'll share the good list QR code. You can scan to send it all right to your phone. The juicy meat, the crackling skin. We're talking that rotisserie chicken today. Oh, snap! We're counting down five genius ways this fan favorite can make life easier. Oh! Then, let's show everybody our pants. We're revealing the comfy pants we all live for. Go for it! Just go for it! <laughs> and, is it a TikTok hack or whack? We're putting some of the most popular hacks to the test. Literally game changers. So before there were Kardashians, there were Osmonds, the entertainment family that started it all. And as the only daughter amongst eight brothers, Marie Osmond took center stage with a career spanning over six decades. Her most recent album, Unexpected, debuted at number one on the charts. And today she is here to dish on everything from family to food. Please welcome Marie Osmond. Oh, yes. wow. wow. And she brings gifts. Ooh, I bring that. gifts. Oh, my goodness. I warmed a seat up you for you. You want it this way, I'm sure. That's gorgeous. Talk Thanks. about an wow. image. Wow. Thank you. Hello, Chelsea. Hello. Hi, girl. Hi. 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 It's such a pleasure. It, I love you guys. Uh, thank thank you. you. Love you. And we know we, I love her. I love her whole family. We're so happy. <laughs> and it's very much mutual. We just love you. And we're so Proud of you and excited for you. We're going to talk about everything cool going on in your life. After I'm, you tell I'm us here to eat. What you brought us. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> That's why we what is this? Day. What did you bring us? So you know, my kids are. They watch TikTok. Yes. And they're really into like these TikTok recipe uh, things. And this is one of them that they were curious. And you guys made this. Can I cut into it? Let me see what's so going on. So it's a potato here. stuffed with. Cheese. Oh, 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 oh sorry, oh, guys. A potato. Oh and oh, it's wrapped oh, in bacon. Oh, wow. And then, you know, they on TikTok, they did this, like, blended guacamole fancy thing. Oh, and guys, Lord. you know what? I had eight brothers, and I had I have eight children. I'm so overcooking. Uh, oh, I can't and imagine. As easy as possible. <laughs> what were, like, wow. the grocery shopping trips like for eight boys and Marie? Like, you know what? I, I was just about talking to the guys. <laughs> They were like, do you cook? I went, well, I'm actually a pretty good cook. I just, who I'm, you know, after it's all of that, lot. but it would be four uh, food carts. Oh yeah. my God. I mean, wow. once a week or sometimes, you know, six of them with my brothers who ate constantly. Of course. And then my children, I, I think I fed them a little healthier because, you know, you learn it's a different, different era. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, my brothers were not foodies. Uh, like exotic foodies. They just ate the basics. My kids, they love the sushi and all the exotic foods. Amazing. So. That's pretty yeah. cool. That's I can't great. even imagine what getting dinner on the table for eight <laughs> children every night would be. Like, you raised eight children. Like, cooking, just the meal prep for a family of that size. Do you know what size. I did? I didn't tell them this, but I think this is one of the best things I ever did. Tell me. Is I got, I would get uh, six of my girlfriends together. We'd all get in my kitchen. Mine, <laughs> mine was the biggest. And we would make one meal for seven people. Oh, that's a big ah, idea. Yeah. And then, so they would do this, they do this, and then we would give each other one. So we'd have seven done. Oh, I so love smart. this. I know, and we would get and together. And you friends, because <laughs> motherhood gets put them in the freezer. You're like looking yeah, on your own yeah. a lot. This is so genius. you get to have a little mom time, and the kids are at school, and then you have home cooked meals that you can give your family that don't take a lot of time to prep and you keep them in the oh, It's like really a cooking good. circle. Right, exactly. Like, this is like a sewing circle. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, I have to ask you, like, what is that signature recipe that, like, the Osmond family, like, what is on the table that you all have to make? What is that? Do you know, um, 
my mother was, she was just a fun mother. And once a week, we got to choose our meal. We'd do it on a Friday night. And uh, each one would take a turn. But we had a favorite salad that we salad. would get to have. So there was a Verl and a Tom and an Alan and a Wayne and a Meryl and a Jay and a Donnie and a Jimmy and a Marie. And, you know? And so, but basically, I mean, they weren't expensive. Mine was like this raspberry jello that we had... Uh, sour cream and ra fresh raspberries and pineapple and uh, some of them had like macaroni salads, potato salads, but really done well. Like the potato salad had like Worcestershire sauce and oh, I mean really yeah. good so recipes. You make simple food. Salad. Did that kind of answer your question? Yes, no. yes. I but they were, like I said, they salads. were meat and wow. potato people, my mm -hmm. brothers. And so I'm the only girl, eight brothers, like you said, yep. and I was born on my dad's birthday. And so when we traveled all over the world, I would go out with him to all the restaurants and eat because he was he loved to try all cuisine, exotic. Oh. And one night we came home and I think we were in Hong Kong and we had just tried like sparrow spit soup or something bizarre, you know. <laughs> and, and he said, he looked at me and he goes, I am so grateful I have one son in this family. <laughs> Because I love trying. I love. Yeah, that. you were his adventurous bunny. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> so I mean, look, I, you, you clearly. I mean, your career has been so incredible. It has spanned six You're decades, which is just unreal to me. Your, your, your fun and your spunk and your strength and all of it's fascinating. And I, I can't wait to dive in on it. And the fact that you spent 11 years with your brother Donnie performing in Vegas. Oh, more than a, <laughs> periodically, you know, you have to take a break from him. And then you can go <laughs> back into Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Vegas, let's talk about Donnie. <laughs> I love yeah, it. 11 years there. It was supposed to be six weeks, we end up being 11. I'm with, with your family. Wow. Yeah, it was the best stay at home job I ever had. Um, you know, I got to raise the last, my, I have like four and then took a break and then had four. And so they all got to, uh, you know, grow up there and go to school and do their thing. Wow. And I don't know if you saw Spinal Tap, you know, that crazy movie? Yes. Yeah, we were taking our, our 10 year bow, and I looked at him and I said, let's go to 11, because there's one more. <laughs> and we, <laughs> we left. And that literally, beautiful. Uh, two, three months later, COVID hit and everything was shut down. Oh, so, wow. So we left at the perfect time. And, and I, but I like being on the road, I like going to the people. Uh, not everybody can travel there, yeah. and so I, hey, I'm a, I'm an empty nester now, and so I'm just having fun. Now you can't. And people sit need still. you. That's the thing. No. <laughs> no, I gotta keep <laughs> moving. You bring in, you bring so much joy. You bring you bring uh, nostalgia, joy, fun, like just a place to go and smile for people. I think that it's a really phenomenal effort on your part. I too. think we're all getting through life. Yeah. I don't think it matters what I do any is any better or different than than what you guys do. We all are women working out life and trying yeah. to raise our kids and do the things we love to do and have that passion and the people that support us doing that. And uh, my my biggest thank you, I mean, to have your album debut, like you said, at, at, and and I'm 62. Wait, wait, well, and, you gotta talk but, about this. But, but the point is, is that I have the best fans in the world. I am here six decades because of them, and that's the truth. You know, they grew up with me. I started at three, now you know how old I am. And no, <laughs> no but, no, but um, you know, you just, you look at the life that, that you, that you're able to, have and that's because of them. hundred. So they're, they truly are. Uh, I'm their fan. You know, they're all awesome. That's I'm amazing. <laughs> okay. Coming up, Marie Osmond opens up about why her newest album is her most emotional one yet. And later, we're gonna put our taste buds to the test in a game you won't want to miss. There it is, oh, right there. there. You Careful. Go. Hot. <laughs> We have the cheesiest show ever. Ooh. From a heavenly twist on a mozzarella stick mm. to dish in with our friend Food God. One, two, three. Oh, let's dish. back with legendary singer Marie Osmond. So your album, Unexpected, debuted at number one. And as the only Osmond to ever debut at number one, just oh, going to plug so that. Right. <laughs> this is un I have a competitive, like I come from a very competitive family. I'm so curious <laughs> if your family is competitive because if you are. They won't I'm talk to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Oh, I want to be at that holiday table. Yeah. Like, uh, Can you pass number one, the uh, they're gravy, very, please? They're very proud. Oh, they're they're they very are. generous and sweet and kind. But, you know, I spent 20 years working on that. Uh, I love to to push myself. And so the album is a 17-song album. But uh, I was right there with Bocelli. When, when, and I'm like, that's insane because it's all, uh, you know, uh, Great American Songbook, uh, legit soprano opera. I mean, the first song is Nessum Dorma. And so it's very, I had no idea if people would be interested in it, but I, my son who passed away, uh, so when, when I did King and I here and Sound of Music, mm -hmm. I couldn't sing, the hills are alive, and so I had to go in for some singing lessons. <laughs> and the lady said, you can sing opera if you want. And, and so I practiced for 20 years, but I'd sit around the house singing that. And uh, he, it was his favorite. So um, when he beautiful. passed away, I sang uh, P.E. Aju on Oprah. Wow. And the, the response was crazy. And that's really what was the instigation to do this album, so. Well, it's clearly it panned out, and clearly people loved it. And Very I'm just sweet. curious, as a woman, like, you know, you've been in this business for long enough to know that it hits different phases, and it oh, yes. and it feels different at different times it in sure your life. Does. What do you know now that maybe you wish, if you were watching the show and you're 30 or 40, what what do you wish that you'd known at that time, with the with the joy that you feel now, and the and like the breath to be yourself too, to push yourself the way that you have done. What do I know now? You know, I think the greatest gift I probably received as a child were incredible parents who encouraged me uh, right along with the rest of us to work hard. Mm. And I think you have to work hard, you have to play hard, you have to live, live passionately. And I think that's... The, if I were to pass that on to... I, well, I try to with my kids. I'm sure you do. They're all awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, well... I have something that I learned about you, which people, this is why we are here at The Good Dish, because <laughs> you are about to have your mind blown, something that I never expected to learn I'm, about I'm Marie curious Eisenman. what this is. <laughs> She's like, what? Really I learned it. <laughs> I mean, this what do you know about passionately me, to the max? I hear that you have a new, very edgy hobby. That you ride oh, a oh, Harley. She's, she's like, what? she's like, I need to know. know. I need to know about it. Oh, look at her! Yeah. Oh my God! I mean, that is fine. I'm sorry. So oh, I have fun. the shafts now too. I'm heading to Sturgis. Oh, I'm going to go to Sturgis this year. Uh, so <laughs> I'm an Gosh. empty nest. This is the first time in my life, you guys. There hasn't been a sibling or a child around. Just my and I remarried my first husband. Oh. And I know, crazy, right? Amazing. We were apart yeah. for 25 years. You ask him what the success of a good marriage is, yes. he'll say, stay apart for 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> yeah. We are having so much fun. But we, we just upgraded. We have a, you know, a motor home. And it had a queen size, so we upgraded to a king size nice. bed. And we, instead of the couch for all the grandkids, we got the two, you know, the, the movie chairs. So we just for sit time. there and, yeah, we hang out and watch movies. <laughs> That's but we have the, the motorcycles on the back. You're on the road. And so, so I've worked my whole life, and so my, and I will continue, I love, yeah. and people go, do you still sing country? Of course I sing country, I, I coined the phrase, but, and I'll be doing those shows and a lot of my different kinds of music, but my goal is to play this year and to do all those things that I probably didn't have time to as a child, yeah. and we are just, I mean, hey, you see a, you see a Harley going down the road, that's me, baby. <laughs> Goals, I go. have to say that well, is you so know, you inspiring. You don't do those things because you you try to be responsible. I'm also jumping out of an airplane. Uh, Obviously, excellent. what is it that you won't do? I oh well, I want to live life. I, mean, I want to. Is that have your fun. secret to like? Because you're so healthy, you're so fit. I swear you've never <laughs> aged. Like, oh, is that what it kind. is? Just doing spontaneous, adventurous things. Is that your secret? The best thing I could say, you know, I endorse uh, Nutrisystem. Yes. And the reason I have continued to, this is my 15th year oh, of, uh, of keeping, I don't, not, yeah, and guys, I don't yeah. diet. Yeah. I don't diet anymore because they taught me. But I think the greatest thing you can tell somebody is keep heart healthy. And I don't believe in skinny. I, that, I did all those head trips, you know, that lollipop head thing in the 70s and 80s, <laughs> yeah. no thanks. But I know that I'm able to do the things that I do now because I am physically able to do that. And, you know, 15 years ago, I couldn't get on the floor or climb stairs because I had 50 pounds I was hauling around. Yeah. And it was really hard on my knees and things like that. So, you know, I'm on a Harley because 
Um, you feel strong. I, when you I can take do care it. Of yeah, it's 800 pounds. I can handle it. Oh you know what I mean? That's fun. That's yeah. incredible to me. I got. I mean, just so, there's so <laughs> much. But I I'm cautious on it. Too. I know. <laughs> we need three weeks of it. I know. Oh my I know. gosh. I know. You're so cute. Well, coming up, you guys, we're putting songstress Marie Osmond her taste buds to the test in a game we're calling Name That Spoon oh that you're not going to want to miss. <laughs> The juicy meat, the crackling skin. We're talking that rotisserie chicken today. Oh, snap! We're counting down five genius ways this fan favorite can make life easier. Oh, the good dish. Closed captioning for the good dish, provided by... Back with legendary singer Marie Osmond, You're and so cute. and it is time. Well, you and look at this now. apron they made me. <laughs> I love yes. this. It's so chic. That is the it chicest is. It's apron I've ever right? seen. <laughs> it's the bomb. Yeah, it's couture. I'm taking it. So you yeah. think we're good now? But we're about to put your taste buds to the test in the little game we're calling. Oh, me. me. Yes. That's, <laughs> That's right. All right, Marie. We do need you to please put your. Name Don that your... spoon. How cute is that? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Right. Cover up those eyes so you right. don't know what we're feeding you. Oh, great. The eyelashes are going to look oh, great no, no, no. after this. Don't mess those up. I'm They're kidding. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. We're each going to feed you from a giant spoon, and then you have to guess what's okay. on each Let's one. Okay. Let's do this. Gail, you're up first. Okay. Lucky number I'll one. Down Pass you. it over. All right. Oh, here And we're we allowed go. to give her one hint. Okay. One hint. Ooh. Hint. Okay. So this is a creamy... <laughs> Creamy. Classic. We could have warmed it up for her. What's I that? might do one for you, one for me. No. Okay, ready? So what do I do? All right, just open, open one. The mouth. There it is, ah, right there. there. Careful. Go. Have a taste. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What? There you go. I mean, I have a big mouth. That's true. <laughs> Gently. Just it's a little a bite. Oh, oh, oh. Go on. Got it. She's oh, got it. Wow. Okay. You should work into Ooh. a television. That was a beautiful bite. I love this. How about think about it? Mm -hmm. Mac and cheese, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but maybe cheesy lasagna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're close. You are real close. Well, are you ready? Fettuccine, is it? It's, it's fettuccine, fettuccine Alfredo. Oh yeah, Got very it. nice. Very nice. Oh, it's I like good because it. it's not nice. too heavy. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was good. Good, All right. good. I'm glad. Jamaica's up one next. One. Of it. one for one. She's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bring that spoon back. Jamaica's up next. What do you have for? For our good friend Marie. Uh, <laughs> my maniacal laugh, huh? Hey, you should share right. that recipe. That's really good. Oh, good. I'm so yeah. glad. It's we like will. A lasagna All right, work. the people in at home, what are you doing over there? They're in on nothing. What nothing, is nothing. happening? Oh, you are All right, I'm going to put it on. Marie, you ready? And why are you, why do I hear you way over there? I did, gonna, like, I'm just coming. I'm coming to you. Don't worry. <laughs> Open up. I'm going to make some on. room. Yum, yum in the tum tum. Here's your your hint. Okay. It's crusty. And in New York, you fold it in half. Oh. So what is the bite? Take oh, it, right there. Oh, it. yes. What is it? Marie, you are a old. pro. Oh, <laughs> nine yards. Oh. I need another bite of that. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> loved it. Oh, wow. oh, my God. I love it. Pizza. Yeah. What, what was on that pizza? What was that that you tasted? Little... Salty briny. Anchovies. Yes! Oh yes, yes, yes. Right? Money. Beautiful. Money. I told you, I cook. I you do. got the palate. I like. Well, I just right. love that you want mm. another bite that of that. That is really so good. Exciting. All right. Two for two. It's my turn, guys. Oh, man. Let's end this game on is a there high olive? note. Are yes, there yes. olives on there, too? No, no that's just the anchovies. anchovies. Oh, it's good. Yeah. So, she All loves right. it. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to end this game. Now, how am I supposed to taste something after that? <laughs> oh, well, I, I aim to Don't worry about this. I'm coming in hot. You're coming in real hot. Here's your chance. To go three for three, getting it right to the edge. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Can I just... what? <laughs> yep. Okay. What's my hint? Um, uh, you don't need a hint. You're oh. gonna know this one. Yep. She's very graceful with the eating of what this is. Hot. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> Water. Water. Get in the water. 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 Fire. Fire. <laughs> whatever. What's the end? Water. 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 Nacho. Water. Go yeah, water. Ruds water. or whatever. Oh, the back of water. No, sparkling water. It's Ooh. sparkling water. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't drink. No, no, no. Hose are down. Hose are down. You can take your blindfold off. We were all set. Those were flaming hot Cheetos. Yes. You think? Nice, but we're not nice. 
Oh, I don't oh. even have those in my house. Oh, great, Marie. Oh, my gosh. You, <laughs> I I'm having a hot it. flash. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even have those anymore. <laughs> oh, thank you for being such a good sport. You guys are awesome. So much I fun. wish you yeah. all the luck. I'm so thrilled for you guys. We are thrilled for you. You, are, you are all fabulous in your right. Seriously, I told you earlier in the commercial, my husband watches your show all the time, too. You guys, seriously, we love you. We thank adore you so much. Your you. fans you. love you. And everybody, now make Make sure you get Maria's, Maria's newest album, Unexpected, Woo! which is available now. And to get more information on where you can see Marie on tour, because you have to go, <laughs> you can catch on the website for details. Marie, I do two Osmond. shows on the 21st and 22nd, so check it out. We're not doing a ton, but it's an awesome This lady plugs. Orchestra. She's oh, a pro. Wow. She plugs yeah. it all. All right. You got to go see her. We want to come. You are coming to see show. All right. Watching. So when we come back, it's Microwave Dessert Showdown. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> two home cooks are facing off to see who has the best microwave no, dessert. Don't do <laughs> I mean, I love it. <laughs> Welcome back. It's time for the Microwave Dessert Showdown. A chance for you to show off your skills. We have two contestants here to teach us how to make simple, quick, easy desserts in their microwaves. And the winner gets our very first Microwavey Award. Oh, yes. Our first contestant is Tali from Syracuse, New York. And she says that her little boy Oliver can't get enough of her quick and easy desserts. Next is Raro from Baltimore, Maryland, who says when she's not busy creating her natural skincare line, she loves making one candy favorite and adapting it to microwave perfection. Okay, Tally, tell us what you're making for us today. So today I will be making a peanut butter chocolate chip cake in a mug. I loved making this at the end of the day with my son. He loves having this. I love having a shot of whiskey with it at the end of the day, too. Whoa! whoa. Um, Cute kid! Look yes. at little Oliver! <laughs> and it is so, so simple to make. Um, all you have to do is a couple ingredients. You want to put in your flour um, as well as your peanut butter and then um, some sugar, some brown sugar, as well as some baking powder, and then uh, your milk as well. And you just whisk that all together. And once that's all whisked together, you wanna add the chocolate right in the middle, so that way when you open it up, um, it'll be right gooey and it's all delicious. And then you also top it off with um, some more chocolate because why not, it doesn't hurt, right? Of course. <laughs> After that, um, you throw it in the microwave for one minute, so, so fast, and it literally comes out so perfect, Ooh. gooey, and beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. And like I said, have it with a shot of whiskey. There you go. <laughs> All right. So now, Raro, yes. you've got some stiff competition over here. You know, I definitely do. And she's got a cute kid. I don't know if that's going to make I can't fight with that okay. apart. <laughs> All right. So now, here, tell us about this dessert that you says satisfies your sweet tooth at home. Tell us about it. Yes. So it is the peanut butter cup. It literally is the best thing next to heaven. I'm not exaggerating. Wow. <laughs> it's very good. Okay. And so it's the family favorite. You know, you have to bring a, bring a good dish to whatever celebration there may be. And so I started off with essentially just really mixing in these graham crackers into the peanut butter because you want to have a nice, rich texture right there. That's and cool. It's mm -hmm. super cool. Yeah. And then before that, you want to melt down your chocolate chips. And I use about half a bag of chocolate chips. And you're going to want to melt it down to a nice, rich consistency, mm -hmm. doing 15-second increments just so it doesn't burn. Good. And so once you get that all melted down, I start with taking about a tablespoon or so of chocolate. And I want to really put this in for the first layer. And so then after I do that, I take a bit of the peanut butter mix with the graham crackers and I'm gonna put it in the middle. So this is gonna be your nice rich texture. And so after that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and then put the chocolate around the parameter of it and then also on the top. So then that way you're kinda of essentially encasing mm. the peanut butter filling inside of there. Nice technique. Yes. And so once you're done that, you're gonna wait like 30 minutes to one hour, make sure it chills in the fridge, and then you're gonna have the perfect peanut butter cup. Let's see. 
you know, it's right here. It's right here. And Whoa. voila, you have this amazing dish, and you will be the personal favorite at any event you go to. <laughs> All right, judges, it's time to weigh in on whose dessert is making it to the Microwave Hall of Fame. Now, what do you think of Tali's peanut butter chocolate chip mug cake? Okay, Tali, I have to say, peanut butter and chocolate, undeniably one of the best combinations Preach. ever invented in the world. So that was already, like, right out of the gate. Fantastic. I love that you use the technology of your microwave to fully bake a cake right in there for the minute. It's a, you know, it's a classic hack. It might even have been like the first real hack known to man in the history books is the mug cake and I'm here for it. <laughs> so I love the technique, love the flavor. Thank you, thank you. All right, judges. Now Raro also showed a promising dessert with great techniques with her peanut butter cups. How did her treat stand out for you? Well, speaking of the original in the history books, delicious peanut butter chocolate dessert, I have to say the peanut butter cup shows up right there. It is, it is hard to improve upon such a perfect confection, but here, that layering of the graham cracker into the peanut butter is, if, you, if you're a fan of like a crunchy, crispy texture yeah. and also a creamy, smooth texture, you really get the best <laughs> of both worlds. Yep. And I do think the utilization of our magical tool, the microwave, to make it very professional looking, that smooth, melted finish, it, it looks gorgeous, it tastes delicious. My only um, problem with it is that I'm gonna just try to eat only one of them. <laughs> that seems like a understandable, hard, understandable. Good problem to have. All and right. they melt fast, you have to eat them quickly. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> All right, now you both made astounding desserts for us using only the microwave, but in any showdown, there can only be one winner. So now judges, you're almost done deliberating. Who is the winner? of the Microwave Dessert Showdown. And the winner of the first ever Microwave Dessert Showdown is... Raro. We are showing you how to have the best coffee break ever with fancy coffee house style brews you can only make at home. Stay tuned. The juicy meat, the crackling skin. We're talking that rotisserie chicken today. Oh snap! We're counting down five genius ways this fan favorite can make life easier. Oh, the good dish. My friend recently introduced me to something she calls crap coffee. A little hit of cayenne pepper. This is kind of what makes it crap coffee because you keep having to come back to it because you're like, oh my gosh, it was spicy, it was sweet. I need more of it in my life. There is something about getting that little extra kick when you need it in the morning. And now, everyone at home, please put on a pot of joe and take a little java break with us because we all deserve it. Ah, Thank you very much. Take a deep breath. And while we're all waiting for it to brew, here's a little caffeinated ASMR moment to get us all in the mood. Check it out. Yeah, that's a good noise. All of it. <laughs> Why is it so gratifying? There was that TikTok trend where everyone was just like swirling their cu their iced coffee. And it, it's, it's pathological. You can't get a glass of ice and not want to be like, Ch -ch -ch -ch, just it's to hear the tickling noise. noise. It it's, it's a beautiful it's noise. A great noise. Yes. May I immediately feel revived. Yes. Just from the ice. <laughs> from the glass. That's all you need. <laughs> okay. As a mom, I am all too used to drinking my hot coffee cold and my iced coffee watered down. I mean, no truth One has ten. ever been. Yes. <laughs> Can I ask a real question? Because this is our microwave show. Yes. How many times is too many times to microwave hot coffee? Asking for a friend. <laughs> I, 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 laughs at me seven times a day. I get through a sip. I leave it for half an hour. I put it back in the microwave. back in there. Right. Well, here we go. I have a trick for all iced coffee lovers. My husband, for example, only drinks iced coffee all year 
around. So, baby, this oh. one's for you. All right. Nice. We're going to create ice cubes out of coffee. So when you go to have your iced coffee and it takes you too long to drink it, it doesn't get watered down. It's super simple. All you do Smart. is brew an extra little bit of coffee. And when you're done drinking your coffee for the day, pour the rest of it into ice cube trays. So it's already cooled. Just like that. All yes. cool. Yeah. Cooled. Pour. Such Thank you. Generous. She's going right to the top. There you go. Got it. Now freeze them, and the next time you need your iced coffee, you use this. And they are beautiful. They won't water down your coffee. And it just melts upon melts. The flavor stays. That's right. Look at that. Wow. And you have the perfect sip. Beautiful. All right. Now, you have your iced coffee going there. I love mocha. And there's a way you can bring that mocha flavoring to this ice cube hack as well, right? So adding just a little bit of coffee, little milk and chocolate milk powder to the ice tray you get this little beauty here and as it melts in your coffee you get all those mm, yummy flavors oh I needed that mm. yeah yes. a little pick me up oh gosh oh, yes that was a, a good coffee good 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 nice little hit so mm. now if you're a little bit on the sweeter side if your taste buds go that way for your coffee I also have a great twist caramel macchiato ice cubes mm. okay fancy so it's very similar <laughs> very <laughs> um, it's similar to what Jamika was saying. You take milk and coffee, and then you're just going to stir in some caramel sauce, and it sweetens the coffee up, freeze it just like Gail said. But one other little trick to make it very fancy is before adding your coffee or ice to the glass, um, swivel a little caramel sauce all along ah. the interior of your glass so it just just makes your little coffee break that much more festive and restorative, which I am here for. The, fr the, the ice cubes, once they're frozen, pop them into your glass of ice cold brew there and we go yeah sucker down that is like a serious upgrade <laughs> thank you i love it the little things <laughs> we'll be right back stay with us Fun. oh i can't wait for that the juicy meat the crackling skin we're talking that rotisserie chicken today oh snap we're counting down five genius ways this fan favorite can make life easier oh the good dish See that QR code on your screen? Open up your camera app and hold your phone camera up to the TV. It'll take you right to the recipes, ingredient lists, and everything you need from today's show. Like, what's for dinner? I'm so glad we're doing this because I do feel like we get asked all the time, what are the ingredients, what's, what's happening? Um, and this just makes it really simple, puts it all in one place. And what's for dinner? It's that salmon rice bowl recipe that over 10 million of you are obsessed with on TikTok. And the best part is all you need to make it is some leftovers and a microwave and about 10 minutes. And remember, if you want to revive that leftover rice in the microwave and make it fluffy and fresh, pop an ice cube on top and that sheet of parchment paper, it will come out gorgeous every time. So we're putting the recipe for it on the good list and everything you need to recreate what you saw on today's show. And we hope the rest of your day is filled with good friends, good laughs, and good dish. See you next time.